Well, I have some good news. I finally got a new mountain bike. Um, and uh, this is kind of one of my first rides. Uh, I've actually did a small ride yesterday at Lacamas, um, trying to get the sag and everything on the suspension okay. Um, then I just did a lap up uh, Thrillium here at Cold Creek. And um, Thrillium just got redone. And so it wasn't a really good <laughs> um, uh, first impression for me because I can't hit any of those jumps or anything. So I pedaled back up and I'm now it's uh, six cents and uh, I'm gonna kind of go through a trail I know pretty well and uh, get my real kind of first reactions. Good news is I'm kind of tired and uh, I'm really nitpicky when I'm tired. So this will be a good um, indication of things I like and don't like. So without further ado, here's my bike. So it is, uh, uh, it's called a Common Sol, uh, which is a French brand. Um, the uh, model is the Meta TR29, has a 140 uh, millimeters of rear travel and 150 in the front. Um, comparison to my current bike, uh, it was 130 in the back and 150 in the front. But already, even just these extra 10 millimeters, this is the suspension overall is so much more plusher than my bike, which is three and a half years old now. Um, well, model year is three and a half years old. I've had it for like two and a half. Um, another a couple of big differences is these are 29 inch wheels, which I really wanted, um, which is really nice. They seem to ride over rocks really easy. Uh, some of it's these tires though. These are like race cross country tires. These are Maxxis uh, dissector tires. Um, I'm probably going to shred them. Uh, they're not going to last very long. Uh, my other bike, uh, I had Maxxis uh, Asagai, which are really burly, knobby, you know, downhill tires, really heavy, and they don't roll as fast. So some of it's the wheels, the bigger wheels roll better over rocks. Some of it's the tires, so we'll see how things go. Uh, the other big difference on this is uh, my other bike is an XL. This is only a large, but even though this is a large, this is actually longer than my uh, old bike um, and has longer reach, longer wheelbase, everything. Uh, but the way that they make it a little bit easier is the seat tube angle is a little steeper. So you're actually closer to the bars when you're pedaling. Um, and already pedaling up here, um, especially when it gets steep, it, a steep, steep it's seat tube angle is really nice. So I can't wait to get on really steep uh, climbs and see how it does and then if I can get around switchbacks with the longer wheelbase, etc. So, yeah, uh, the only other thing I noticed on the climbs is uh, back here at the chain stays. This is pretty wide, and occasionally, as I was getting tired and sloppy, my calves would just barely rub against this. And I'm not like a rugby player or anything. Uh, I don't have like massive calves, um, but I could see if you had big calves, uh, that could be quite annoying. So be aware of that. Um, other than that, I think everything else on the block bike is really stock. I put my own pedals on here. Um, and the other huge win, which was a, a showstopper if I didn't have it, is I can now have a water bottle on my bike. First time in years that I can do that. So uh, I'm really happy. All right, well, let me get this uh, chest mount on and uh, start going down the trail and uh, talk you through some other things. All right, another thing I wanted to point out is... Uh, I've had to raise this seat quite a bit to get it for my leg length. Um, and you can see how this dropper <laughs> doesn't go down very far. So I think I would really want a, a longer dropper so I can get the seat really far out of the way, uh, which helps with, you know, steep hills and jumps and things like that. So, but for now, this is working okay. I think it's about the same as my current bike, so it's not a showstopper by any means. All right. Oh, another uh, couple of things I, I uh, find interesting or I don't like about this bike is this has a KS Lev dropper post lever on my uh, left thumb here, uh, and it's super stiff. Uh, my other bike I had a nice PMW dropper post, uh, and it's super smooth, easy to use. This one's really hard. Uh, along with that. Um, this is a Shimano group set, and it's got the I-spec clamping. So there's only one clamp uh, per side. 
So both the shifter and the brake on the right hand side are together and the left side the dropper and uh, the brake are together in one clamp. Um, that means they can't be adjusted very much and I, I guess I had pretty extreme angles on my other bike because they were separate clamps so I got to get used to the, the more normal angles I guess. So, wow this bike is nice. Very plush. Oh, and most important, it's quiet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure you get away with a lot of sloppiness on this bike. I'm not sure why. Okay. Oh, yeah. I definitely like the extra suspension in the back. And this fork is light years beyond my other fork. So everything feels really good. Not sure about the traction with these tires either. But we'll see. That was a little slippery. Oh, yeah. Kind of rocky and dusty. All right, I'm gonna see if I can clear my Nemesis double here. So easy! <laughs> I barely even had to pull. Oh, I couldn't get that one. All right, I'll take a break here. <laughs> I am so excited that I cleared that double. Uh, it was definitely a challenge on my other bike. All right, another thing. Uh, I do not like about this bike is this rear hub. It is a formula hub, just a kind of a cheap one. I mean, it works. There's just a lot of pedal slack when you start to pedal. Um, I have a kind of a trials background and I like a lot of the points of engagement. And this one does not have that. Oh, sweet. Uh, my other bike, I had a custom wheel and uh, I had an Industry 9 Hydra Hub, which in my opinion is one of the best hubs in the world. And 690 points of engagement versus this one's probably like 30. Uh, and the sound was amazing, and it was durable, but can't switch those out because my other bike is a 27 and a half inch wheel. This one's 29, so they're not compatible. Uh, Eventually, I'll have to get a better hub, but for now, this thing's working. All right, I'm gonna move on to my next double here. Let's see if this thing's even easier to clear. Oh yeah, very nice. Now a rock garden. Oh, you breeze. Oh, so nice. A little berm. And I don't really know these tires very right well, so. Oh, yeah. Seems to be doing pretty good. Rolling over the rocks really well. Oops, I did that one wrong. Yeah, let's pick up some speed. I think there's a double coming up here. Yeah. 
Good rock stand. All right. My hand needs a break. Uh, another thing I noticed about this bike, since it is longer, um, and the head tube angle is slacker, which means the wheel's out in front farther, uh, the steering response is a little different. So when I'm used to flicking it sideways, the spike doesn't necessarily want to flick. It pops up high, but, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, can be considered the gear to be more straight. Oh, over clear that. <laughs> so yeah, it's just gonna take a little bit more input to get this bike to flip around, which is nice actually. I'd rather brute force a bike than uh, try to finesse it too much. I do have a creaking developed here and it's happening when I'm not sitting down so it's either the cranks or a pivot which uh, you know I never took any of this apart when I got it I just wrote it so maybe I need some grease response on my part. Man, these tires are fast. Okay. That's it. Well, summary is I'm extremely happy with this bike and I can't wait to ride it some more but I am tired and uh, yeah got, got some tweaks to do need to get rid of this creek but other than that it's doing really well so hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions about the bike etc take care